It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. I'm muting the computer before Chad tells me to do it. <laughs> I already muted tell it. Me to do it. Oh, well, then I just unmuted it. Nope. Wait. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, there All we right. go. Cool. We'll figure uh, it out. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. How's it going? How's it going? Sorry for missing last week. Um, we had a long weekend. It was an amazing weekend. Um, but it was not the kind of weekend where we could follow it up with a live Right. The night of the last day. I was... Yeah. Sarah wasn't feeling I've well. I've seen better days. Mm -hmm. um, it was still a really great day, but I don't think I could handle any more alcohol. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So how is everyone? Um, and glad you all made the time change. Yeah. Everyone lived. Everyone lived through that extra hour of sleep, right? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if anyone tuned in would it have been... Late or early? If we lost an hour, it would be... Early. Early. Well, that's better than late, so, yeah. That's true. Maybe some people <laughs> got in really early for the... I uh, think everyone's phones automatically set back now, and so no right. one is confused. Um, yeah. Yeah. Are we dropping frames? Are we looking funny? Because <clears throat> our internet's being... So I think we look no, okay. We yeah. look fine. I think it's just our 10-year-old laptop that's... Uh, Still plugging away. It's okay. We're working towards that new laptop fund. We're getting yeah, there. Slowly yeah. but surely. <laughs> we will get there. We're getting there. Everything looks good on, on this end. Um, so yeah, so, you know, we've got a ton of What's News and sample shout outs. Thanks to last weekend. Uh, and, and they're not just samples, mainly. They're ma mainly bottles. Bottle shout outs, yeah. So that's probably going to, we're probably going to like take the entire show to do that. But in between, we're going to be opening some of those bottles doing live uncorkings and drinking things. Yes, so, it's true. Yeah. Now, I can already tell that I'm gonna get hot in a sweatshirt, and I realized as soon as I sat down that I, that was gonna happen, but I wanted to show you guys my cool Bardstown shirt that I got uh, last weekend when we were there for and the Barstown. tours. So, yeah. um, I'm just, pardon me, you go ahead. Um, what should we talk, what should we do first? I think someone said Chad looks funny. I, I did shave he the beard down. I don't think you look funny. <laughs> I think they're, they're just giving you a hard time. I was gonna do, you know, the the Movember. Perry's doing a Movember. He just, he's rocking just a mustache right now. Uh, I couldn't do it. Plus, Sarah didn't want me to I do it. I don't want him to do it. She likes the beard. I do. But. Look, I got another part. I did shave it down like the shortest it's been in a long time. So. I'm also going to just. I'm usually backwards on the seasons. Like when it starts getting cold. <laughs> I have yeah, like last summer you grew out your beard for some odd reason that no one understood. Oh, that was because we were going to you were, Austin. You wanted to have like a Rex and Daniel beard. Yeah. And it was in the middle of summer, so it was yeah. like, okay. Exactly. Anyways, um, <laughs> so let's get started because yes. I don't want anyone to get bored with our little chatter. <laughs> um, so if you want to skip through, because we are going to be talking about a lot of things, we are mm -hmm. going to be sipping uh, from some of these bottles. We will put timestamps down below. Up. Chad's going to stand up, so that means drink. Um, yeah. Uh, but we will put time stamps in a pinned comment down below after the episode. Uh, it's on the replay for anyone watching the replay. And yeah, um, I don't know what Chad's doing, but just adjusting the camera. he's just adjusting the camera. Yeah. He's just adjusting the camera. <clears throat> yes. Uh, let's get something in our glass. I, I would know. also like to do that. Let's do... I don't know if, uh, if Ian is in the chat. I haven't seen him, but there are a lot of people in the chat. 218 okay. to be oh, exact nice, as of right nice. now that I could tell. Um, so he might well be in there and I just haven't seen his comment. He left us with this uh, New Riff Single Barrel Rye. It's 113.1 proof. Nice. And uh, he's Ooh. been a big fan of it and was curious to know what yeah. we thought about it. He's the New Riff guy, he says, I think. Well, that's a lot. Oh, well. <laughs> If we're going to be doing a lot of these. Perfect. Thank that? you. Yeah, there we go. Just rub some more bourbon into this table. We're really Get seasoning it nice and seasoned. this table with bourbon. It's a new table. Uh, do you want to give your uh, uncle another plug? Oh, yeah. My <laughs> uncle, Keelan Classic Homes. He built this table. Uh, he's a builder located in Lexington. Um, they built lots of great looking houses and he also made this table and the mantle that was like the centerpiece behind our ceremony at our wedding. So we got both of those things after our wedding and it was yeah, so nice. So there you go. this is the new table. Table. Uh, mm. no What thing. else did Ian give us? Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Where'd it go? Mm-mm. That's right here. Woo! That's 
spicier than I remember. <clears throat> so Ian's really into <clears throat> these old like um mag he like I think he said he collects old magazines or something yeah. like that. And so he does these like old prints and he framed he had this one framed and he got it for yeah. us. Mm -hmm. How nice is that? As you know, I'm in. I'm into this. Yeah, we actually have too. a couple um, like in this realm. So now we can make ourselves like a little gallery wall. Yeah, this totally. Is, we should just talk like this. The whole yeah, time. the whole time, just the like whole, this. Just the whole time. This, this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Ian, for that. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for leaving us this. That was nice. The bourbon guy left us awry. <laughs> <laughs> that bourbon guy. Let's. Ooh, it's that's different. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Ooh, that's real nice. Yeah. Of course, New Riff is a ninety-five five. It's a one hundred percent rye, but it's ninety-five percent rye and then five percent malted rye. Mm. So it's a one hundred percent rye, but it and for being it tastes, only four years old, it doesn't have that like like normally we've had some hundred percent rye that were like there's such a thing as too much rye mm -hmm. in our opinion. Uh, I don't feel that way about this. Are you gonna bring it back? Okay, I figured as soon as I put it back there. I think this is the ninety five five. Am I thinking of something else? Uh, I don't know. I think that they'll tell you. Tell yeah. us if he's wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I really think that's right. You really I'm, sti I'm sticking with it. Okay, he's sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. That's I don't know. What we are understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's nice. No, this is really good. Mm. Oh, Jason is in the chat. I will just check these off as I go. <laughs> now, precursor before we get into this uh, whole list, there was a lot of drinking. There were, we were literally showered with <clears throat> gifts. Like, we're not worthy. We should probably explain. And if, if you were here at the patron only chat on Friday, sorry for the repeat, repeat, because a lot of you are also there. So it's like a repeat, repeat. But for those who didn't know, we did our first ever like weekend exclusive bourbon night meetup. Yes. Um, if you didn't hear about it, it's because we were letting the patrons have first access to the tickets and it never left Patreon. Sold out. Uh, sold out. Um, it was a smaller group. There was 22 people. Including us. Including us. And we were on a uh, mint julep tour bus, and they drove us from distillery to distillery. Mm -hmm. We could drink on the bus. Um, we started off at Buffalo Trace with on Friday a night. ghost tour. Mm -hmm. We got to do our tasting in the E.H. E. Taylor. Taylor house, which we'd never been in. We went into um, Colonel Blanton's house, which is really cool. Um, and that was neat. We'd never done the ghost tour before. No, it was really cool. Not so scary. It was actually a lot of fun. Like, it was... Right before Halloween, so it's the perfect time to do it. Kind of chilly, yeah. kind of rainy. It was nice. It was. Um, so on Saturday, yeah, we went, our bus took us to Bardstown. We hit uh, seven, Barton 1792. What is it? A hair? Where Thanks. you took your sweater off. Oh, I sometimes get a cowlick too. <laughs> Hold on. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, we went to Barton 1792, did a tasting, Lux Row. And then we went to Heaven Hill. We got to see their new visitor center, which we're actually going for the official grand opening party tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. I forgot that that's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went and had dinner at Bardstown Bourbon Company and topped it all off with a tour at Castle and Key on Sunday morning. It was great. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're talking about here. These are the fine folks that were part of the meetup weekend. Yes. Called Here for the Booze. Here for the Booze. Booze as in Halloween and, booze. you know. Um, so Brent Bailey said, I just got my Texas Challenge coin and it's the same number as my Kentucky Challenge coin. Did you all do that on purpose or is that just a coincidence? We try to keep a spreadsheet. Yeah. No promises. <laughs> we, but... we try to keep a spreadsheet. Uh, another thing about, this is just going to be a, a sales pitch for Patreon, I feel like, the entire episode, but patrons get to uh, request a, a number. Um, but like if someone bought a Kentucky coin, we wrote that number down and if it was available in the Texas coin, then yeah, we will we'll give you that number and we try our best, but there's, we don't advertise it cause there's no guarantees. No guarantees. But yeah, hope, hope you, hope you liked that. Cool. Um, this is really good, Ian, if, uh, if you're in here or if you're watching the replay, this is excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you much. So anyways, as I was saying, we have this list of stuff that we were so kindly gifted and by showered with gifts, I'm not even kidding. Like <laughs> the only thing that could have made it more literal was if they actually threw them at us. No, um, everybody pretty much brought something. And so we were just kind of like putting it all in our hotel room and then it all got mixed up in the car and then we had to take it out of the car and bring it in the house. 
great problems to have, except for when you're drinking and also trying to keep a record of who gave you what. Yes. So we think we did a pretty good job. We hope but so. if, if we miss anybody, please let us know because it just means it did not somehow get gathered up with all this stuff and we will shout you out next weekend. Um, or if we get something wrong, please let us know. But we're pretty Correct. sure we've got it right. I think I think we got it. I think we, I think got, we got it, it right. Um, yeah, so you said we went to Barton, we went to Luxro, we went to uh, Heaven Hill. Yep. Um, we had dinner at Barstown Bourbon Company. Yep. And then Sunday, uh, some of us went to uh, lunch slash brunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we went to Castle and Key for their tour, mm -hmm. in which was, it was, it was all excellent, excellent yes. stuff. Um, so Sometimes this... I think you don't listen when I talk. Yeah, I don't. I literally just said the same thing. Huh. Interesting. No, tuned right out. I was miles away. I know. Uh, <laughs> oh. You should turn that off. Shush. There we go. Silent cell phones, please. Um, so these are from John Wadsworth. That's correct. And this is the new Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, which we don't have, we don't here have in, Kentucky. in Kentucky. So that's very awesome. Awesome. I think this will get its own uncorking at yeah, some point. Yeah, I would like to compare it to the previous. This guy... Uh, also from John, is called Old Fourth Distillery Bottled and Bond Old Straight Fourth. Bourbon Whiskey, <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and there's, oh, there he gave us notes on it. Um, he sure did. I don't know where that ended up. Oh, there they are. Oh, well, Chad's going to, is he going to get up? Yeah. Yeah. If he falls out of his chair, <laughs> does that count as getting up? Yep. Tell us. Look at this. Notes. Look at this. Notes on it. So this will be our next uh, uncorking. Let's do that. Perfect. While I'm uncorking this. Oh, we're uncorking this one now. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to run through some what's news? Sure. Let's do some what's news. I've got, well, you can give me that. Yep. Uh, this came in today for us. This came in today, and I saw um, Travis Wallard in the chat, and I'm sure you'll be happy to know that we have another bottle of Iowa whiskey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cedar Ridge. This is, yeah, uh, that's what we know about it, Cedar Ridge. Uh, this is Slipknot whiskey. Number nine. Which I feel very angsty and torn about drinking. They're them. not angsty, they're metal. I'm kidding. They're... They are not metal. Slipknot? You think Slipknot's metal? When you uh... say metal, I think like Iron Maiden. No, 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 that's old metal. Oh, okay, so it's new metal. No, 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 new metal was like Limp Biscuit in the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, okay. They're just metal. It's not, heavy, heavy metal would be like Iron Maiden. Okay, Those so it's just heavy, metal. It's not called heavy metal so much anymore. So what's Metallica? That's, just metal. Me Metallica is hard rock metal. It, Slipknot's definitely metal. I've been to a Slipknot concert. He's like, Slipknot's it's, metal! It's blast beats. <laughs> on the drums. Is that what is that what categorizes it? No. Not always. <laughs> All right, we'll continue this conversation later. Back me up, people, here in the in the chat. Slipknot is metal. I don't know. Oh my god. I'd call it more like no. Thrash? I, I don't know. If I guess like thrash. Thrash. Like, is it screamo death metal? Okay. It's not just like Heavy metal. I would not, because it's. I just think of them differently. I guess so. There's the category of metal. And They're heavier like than heavy metal. Heavy metal and death metal and like, what is like, ska? Is that like where you scream? No. no which one is one where you scream? Ska is like. Ska is like horns. And oh, it's got trombones horns. and. But it's like still like loud, right? No, like. Okay, um, well, we need to continue this another time. Like, uh, no doubt, started out as a ska band. Metallica is thrash. Okay, I did not know. Oh, no, We're learning some Metallica things. Metallica used to be thrash back in the 80s. But now they're... Just, I would just call Metallica just metal, like hard rock. rock. Just hard yeah. rock, metal. I but don't know. Anyway, here we go. Anyways. There we go. Good. So we have this now, and we're going to yes. uncork it. Yes. Um, who knows? We might come up with something creative. I think we will. I think we will. Let's do another what's new. <laughs> um... Ska just sounds like it's something angry. <laughs> no, Ska is trumpets and horns and all that jazz. I don't know. Uh, just anything but Screamo, please. That's <laughs> that's literally the worst. Sorry if you like Screamo. Screamo I guess it's for, it's for everyone. Isn't Something's so much, for someone. Isn't so much anymore. I it's not really a thing anymore. Screamo and Emo kind of go together. There's some bands, you know, like My Chemical Romance. Yeah. They kind of screamed, but they're definitely emo. But they're definitely emo. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, this comes to us from Swan, the Bourbon Finder. Uh, we got this at Kroger. This is Knob Creek Quarter, Quarter Oak. Oak. And we actually had this. This was at um, our hotel for uh, this last weekend, so we got to try this. I can't remember who brought it because there was like 50 bourbons and whiskeys. <laughs> That's not our fault. Everyone just table. brought stuff down, and then yeah. I feel like after drinking, 
you know, a certain amount when people are like, I brought this. You're like, uh-huh. Whoa, this thing's, I just like. Let me see. Couldn't pick it up because it's oh, heavy. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, four D. <clears throat> oh, old. I get it. Yeah. Old fourth distillery. Ska is the '40s big band dance music of the '90s. There you go. That's oh, a, that's a pretty good. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. I'm learning definition. something today. Is ska uh, heavy metal? Trev says Slipknot is new metal. Metallica has been every genre from thrash metal, heavy metal, rock, and heavy rock. Screamo is the name. People give to any band who screams, which isn't. I don't think you can get in. Wow, I never thought we'd be on a musical. This is not uh, where I thought this episode was going. I don't think you can call any um, any band today new metal. I feel like that was a wave in the two thousands, like Limp Bizkit. They call Corn new metal, you know, but they're not anymore. Like Corn wouldn't be new metal. I don't think it's new as in N E W. No, it's in you, in you metal. Right, new. I think that genre has passed. That's just me, though. Okay. I'm, I'm no music expert. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a Ramones uh, knockoff. Oh, no. We lost the backlight. Oh, well, no. I guess I set it to battery instead of AC. So I guess so. I'm going to get up right after I have this drink. Look okay. at the difference. Yeah. This is good lighting makes a difference. Mm -hmm. they, everybody say thank you, Chad, for the good lighting. <laughs> it's dark now. Uh. Okay, well, I'm sorry I got us off topic on that. I'll let you fiddle around back here. Um, so, yeah, this is interesting. There we go. Thank you, Chad. Yes. It's good. It's pretty good. It is. Uh, it's sourced from MGP. Hmm, interesting. Um, I would not have guessed that. Uh, they're new, newly released. Hold on. A new released single barrel bottled and bond bourbon has been an immediate cultural, uh, oh, sorry, critical hit, winning a double gold medal at the 2019 World Spirits Competition in San Francisco. Huh, interesting. But it's uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, yes. I mean, I, that's where it's bottled. <laughs> just to make sure, we're still good, right? Because no new comments have come in. Just uh, making sure, maybe no one's interested in commenting, but I feel like no one's ever this quiet. Huh, So. interesting. Are we still out there? That's a Type if you <laughs> can hear us. Blink, blink. Might have to check one of our phones. It might just be our laptop yes, being, could be. being dumb. Because everything seems to be fine over All here. All right, well, proceed. On this one. I will, uh, um... We will act like everything is fine. Um, Whoop. That's the oh, sound. Oh, yeah, so we're good. Huh. I guess huh. it's just our... They can see and hear, but it's... Stop scrolling. Oh, well, I think that's just our phone. So I'm just going to keep it out here then. All right, well, we'll keep going. Um, they are chatting away. Can you hear us now? Yes, we can. Okay. Good, right, so it's good a, investigative it's work. It's official. We need a new laptop. Ten years. I mean, first of all, ten years. Ten years of technology is like a hundred years. It's amazing. Like. It's, it's a MacBook Pro. It's a trooper. Uh, mm. That's why we're Mac people. We missed a super chat. We did? Apparently. Ah, oh, Jeff Winbush. Jeff Winbush. I was trying to think of your um your profile picture the other day. I was trying to think of the name of that character from the TV show, uh, and it took forever for me to come up with it. And but now you did. I can't remember what oh, it was. Geez. Um, shoot. Oh well, it's it's too late <laughs> yeah. for me. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. We won't go through that again. No, we won't go through it again. Thank you. I think something like Percy. Oh well, or we should Perry. probably read. Uh, no, no, no. It uh. I can't remember. Uh, he says, one, Metallica is metal, and I will fight yeah. anyone who calls them rock and roll. Two, have you guys ever had Uncle Nearest? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have had Uncle Nearest. I wouldn't call them rock and roll. I think once, once mm. you put the and roll, he it, said makes, he will fight you. it makes you think of older bands, like the Stones. I said hard rock slash metal. Because, you know, they are kind of genre blending. Um, yes, their true. early stuff I would definitely call metal, even thrash metal, because the speed metal. You know, pre-Black Album. It was very fast. Yes, yes. Anyway. <laughs> Glenn. Glenn and Kathy. Hey, Glenn Mr. and Mrs. Kathy. Mr. Golf Whiskey. You're, you're getting a bunch of shout-outs coming here in just a little bit. <laughs> they are. Uh, $10 Super Chat. Thank you for the laptop fund. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will get us one. He said you're going to have words over that. So we'll just take that <laughs> offline. <laughs> we'll take it offline. Okay? Oh, boy. All right. Yeah. Well, this is... This is... It's good. It's, it's good. I wouldn't, I mean, who knows who's to say what. I wouldn't think I would give it a double gold. 
Um, but compared to we don't really. compared to other things, it's kind of nutty. I kind of like it. I think so. I mean, I like it too. It's it's four year old MGP. It t- and that's what it tastes like. Yeah. So it's I'd be interested solid. to see like yeah. how much it goes for. Yeah. Um, Clifton. <clears throat> Gave us a super chat. He said, hey, great, hey. great meeting you both and the familiar faces in the chat. Housekeeping got what was left of our Russell's pick, but should have uh. left it with you. They were so <laughs> jealous. They were all like, everyone at Homes 2 Suites, which is where we, we stayed. Um, all the employees, like the front desk girls, were like, what are y'all doing? Can we, can we, how do I get into, how do I, can I, like trying to figure out how to be a part. And it was just funny so i wouldn't surprise me if they stumbled upon your left bottle yeah um adhd fishing says metallica is old time rock and roll (laughs) it's a super chat so you must cheers it oh Oh, well we're empty so one moment please well i don't know what the next Mm. i tell you what let's do this because it's opened and we can we can shout out drew We can give a woo-drew. Drew Drew. Bolin, woo-drew, brought this to the meetup for the bus, and we put a pretty good hurting on it. So this is All That Remains. Thank you. This is about All That Remains, another band. Are they new metal? No. No. Um, And so, and he, you know, he did a lot. He bought us all pie. It was great. (laughs) It was the most random detour. Uh, We'll tell you about Mamie's Kitchen here in a second. Yes, we will. So this one was for... Clifton. Clifton, yeah, Clifton. It's great meeting you too, Clifton. Oh no, wait, that one was for ADHD fishing. And Sorry, old ADHD time rock and roll fishing. Okay, Chad, old time rock and roll. We'll get right. him off this topic. And Kilko says, "Woo, you made up for mine." Uh, the cold north will invade the south soon. What? Oh, the cold, the weather. weather. Yes, it's getting kind of quite it's getting nippy. crisp outside. Nippy out. Um, everyone's For saying, sure. Woo Drew. <laughs> Woo Drew. They, they all know now. It's yep. an inside joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we did um, Mint Julep Tours, uh, the tour bus. Um, our our uh, Steve? Larry. Larry. And Tracy. Thank you. Wow. I just don't have a memory for names. They were um, awesome. So, if Mint Chad Julep gets tours. your name right, it is literally a miracle. Like, yeah. it's not because he likes you more or anything. It's actually a miracle. Mm-hmm. And if he gets your name wrong, please take no offense. I'm surprised you know my name. <laughs> That's right, Stacy. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, I'm a Stacy and you're a Chad. I'm, yeah, apparently, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing in the Patreon chat. Um, Mammy's Kitchen in Bardstown, Kentucky, they make the most amazing pies. And we'd said this, and then before you knew it, we had a little, we made up some time at a distillery. So between distilleries, they drove us to Mamie's Kitchen, and Drew bought us four whole pies. They cut them into eights. Oh my God, and, chocolate, uh, two chocolate, two and chocolate, two butterscotch. Two butterscotch. So good. If you're ever in Barstown, go to Mamie's Kitchen and get, get the pie. pie. Get ah. the pie. This uh, Blanton's straight from the barrel is 128.2 proof. And it's delicious. And uh, it was dumped in 2018. Oh, it's so and good. And it's good. Hey, we might have our thing back. Hey, I, I don't know. I can't tell. I think it's no, still it's behind. Still, yeah, it's still, it's behind. Yeah, it's still lagging. That's okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just too much for that old guy. <laughs> now they're saying 3 a.m. crew. Woof. <laughs> uh, they're still talking about metal. <laughs> That's awesome. This is really delayed. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. No, it's back. Cool. I'll okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can. Because I like looking up better here. Yes. Anyways, if we have 345 people watching, I feel like we should do something more. Right. <laughs> right. Um. So yeah. So we got to actually drink this. I had a sip of this with the butterscotch because pie. Because it's completely legal for them to have, they have open their, container on this bus. They have their license as that tour bus. They have a license to have open container. So we were... Licensed to pour. Everyone brought a bottle on the bus and we were, you know, we had little tiny cups and we were just passing things around and enjoying ourselves in between the tours. Because, you know, the tour for like the first 45 minutes is just <clears throat> a tour. You're not drinking or anything. And then you get to do a tasting at the end, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it wasn't like we were drinking a lot on the tours. It was yeah. good though. It good was, times. Yes. Yes, so let's see. Indeed. We did Drew. We did John. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything on mm-hmm. the list. Um, I guess we could do. I did this. We did this Slipknot. Let's do another. What's new, real quick. Sure. Whoa. 
Oh, this guy's me. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Look, Look oh my everybody. gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna get it with the light. I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh, I'm blinding you. I'm blinding you. Don't do you. that to them. <laughs> Baker's single barrel now. 13 year. Um we may or may not have Chad, already is that bottle open? cracked this open. Yeah, mm. it sure is. Uh, we may or may not have already filmed an uncorking of we this. We might have. That will uh, be coming out at some point. Yes, a certain bourbon finder. Yes, have, a certain bourbon may finder have located this found for this uh, for us as well. Shout out to the sh shout out to the Swan. Uh, yes, that is pretty. It is very pretty. Sean. 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 Why do you say it like that? Blake. Blake. <laughs> Uh, so that's new, and not wanting to go back in its home. I like to watch you struggle with the things sometimes. Yeah, thanks. Give that back to yes, you. Yes, very lovely. Um, what else? Uh, let's another, do... What's new? Uh, do... Where, uh, oh, I don't know. The Makers. The Makers. The Makers. The we Makers. Just did bakers, the Makers. The Makers. Uh, and, and Bears, oh my. I know, right? It feels like it should be some sort of rhyme. <laughs> this is the Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series Limited Release 2019 RC6. It's 108.2 proof. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey barrel finished with 10 virgin oak staves. So 10 virgins died. That's for... not true. <laughs> no, okay. Um, Don't start rumors. Virgin oak staves. So I guess not... Never used before. Yeah, never used. Which they technically couldn't be, or else they would have to call it finished right right um if they were anything but so that makes sense i john guess it's an interesting Wa way to say speaking it speaking of john speaking wadsworth of john how about them dogs i guess he's talking about georgia we had a celebratory pour of the baker's 13 this Ooh, weekend it's, it's delicious. delicious can't wait for you guys to review it well that's coming soon yes thank you john thank you Appreciate john it. thanks for being at our meetup mm. and boy that's nice let's do Okay. We finally got the last of the year, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C919. This is the one that I hear people really liking. That's just what I hear. That's what I hear tell. I have heard people say it's the best one this year. 136.8 proof. I think, Swan, were you saying that you thought this one, I can't remember, you were saying something about it because I remember saying, I heard people think it's the best one. But um, So probably in an upcoming live, uh, we'll do A, B, and C of this year. Ooh, yeah. I love when we do that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Fun. Um, cool. Brian is home. Time to have some country ham. I hope you mean the bookers. I think so. Yeah. I yes. would think so. And we have one more what's new. We do. Oh, the big one? The big one. Oh. Not that the other ones aren't the great. They are. <laughs> the big one. Hmm. Do it. Sean. Or Sean. Who's Sean? Swan like Who's Sean? B, personally. Oh, but well. you could always revisit. Yeah, you should, because we'll have them all open if you if you don't. I'm sure you, I don't know if you have them. Um, all right. Yes, that's the one. Here's the big one. Check it out. It's an old ass bullet. <laughs> an old ass bullet. I, I don't even know what year this is. Um, yeah, there's no like marking on the bottle that we can tell the year from. If you know how to tell the year, please let us know. We would like to know. It's from Frankfurt, though. Frankfurt, Kentucky, which is where Buffalo Trace is. And if you look at the bottle shape, you'll notice that it resembles some other bottle from Buffalo Trace. Little Elmer T. Lee bottle action right here. And tell here. me more about it, Chad, that might make us think it has something to do with that. Wasn't it the proof? Oh, 90 proof. So this could very well just be Elmer T. Lee from the, I would imagine, the 90s? I don't know. Um, but... I mean, it's... it. Yeah. I don't know. Swan the Bourbon Finder cannot find this for you. He did have a part in, in brokering a, uh, a, a trade, so... But he doesn't normally do that. It was like no. a one-off kind of thing. Completely one-off. We don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. It's gonna stay sealed for a while. It's just so pretty because it's so ugly. We'll find the right time. Yes. For it. We'll find the right time, but we have a full schedule for the rest of I this look year. At this so thing. it is nice. Ugh, yeah, love In it. In my opinion, I like that bottle better. I wouldn't have changed it, but no one listens to me. So no. we got to get something in our class. We do. We have to cowbell cheers Trey Bailey. Well, let's. Um, Who should we? Let's. Oh, I know what I want. Don't okay. go. Yeah. It's no, not let's... an uncorking. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's fine. If you say the name of this fish. Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua. Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua. 
That's not Mele, you. Mele Kaliki Maka. I think Don's in the chat. Don is responsible for both of these bottles. I'm sorry, I poured myself first. That's I, okay. I forgive you. I am selfish. You are, but it's okay. I just love this one so much. I also love this one. So I told Don this the other night because we did a Patreon only um, certain level like live chat. And uh, I think that when I smell this, it reminds me of fruit cocktail cake. Fruit cocktail. Which is very interesting. So Trey Bailey, back to you. Thanks for the channel and the fun. Thank you. Thank you for, for the watching. super chat. Yes, and for the super <clears throat> chat. So this is uh, specially selected by Aloha Whiskey. This is a uh, Hawaiian club. Whiskey club. Yeah. It's an O-E-S-K. It tastes different today. Well, 10 years, three months. Uh, it's 57.5% ABV. Not doing the math. No, no math. Uh, cheers to Jeffrey. No time like the present to mm -hmm. open things up. Oh, oh, are you talking about that bullet? Because no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're funny. I like you. But look you're, how many things we have open. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, look how many things. Um... Yeah, so this is their state, state fish. fish. The yeah. Anuka Booga 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 Pua 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 Pua. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> is how it's pronounced. Not quite right. But, no, okay, well, I forgot uh, it. Even I didn't get it right, right. Uh, no. Because Don said it was close. Yeah, he um, said close enough. So he, he brought us. And well, I pictured he, him rolling his eyes. Right. He brought yeah. one of these and he left us uh, what was remaining because he had to go back to Hawaii. He also left All us. All that remains, another metal band, I think. We already talked about that. No, you already that used was, that joke. Did I? Yes. I thought that was As I Lay Dying. No. Why would I say As I Lay Dying? <laughs> I don't know. Also, was... that's a Faulkner novel. So. Yeah, that's where they got the name. Oh, well. What type of novel? Faulkner. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a Jeez. Faulkner novel. Um, A.W. This is a, a whiskey. It's a Hawaiian whiskey that is no longer made. Um, I think that... They don't do the math for you on the label uh who was saying that uh who was saying that joseph brazo they don't it's just 57.5 percent abv it's true this one doesn't say no what proof the total is. Yeah. no proof you said uh, four roses don't do the math for you i don't know it's very scotch of them yes this actually this hawaiian whiskey is is pretty good it won uh, the 2019 World Spirits Competition double gold, but apparently so has everything else. <laughs> I've won double gold at the I mean, San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Yeah. I um, showed up and they just gave me two medals. What else did he give us? This is uh -huh. from... Oh, from he Don. Never, he literally spends the entire show not <laughs> listening to me and just repeating everything that I say. Literally, I don't... I spend the entire show just repeating what she says and I don't, I don't listen to her. It's true. Oh, it's only mildly frustrating. <laughs> I wonder if it's frustrating for her at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, next time you want me to make you dinner, you can no. make it yourself. Come on. No, I'm mm. done. Do you have the AW? No. You have this, because yes. I poured it for you. Yes, I haven't poured that. I was going to do... Well, here, I'll just pour some of this and then okay. we can share it. There we go. Yeah, this is a... Um, Unique thing, it's uh, 61% ABV. Mm -hmm. Did you say that already? No. I didn't think you did. Yeah. Um, and he was saying it's pretty rare. Like, when it's gone, it's gone. I think it might be gone. Well, it is gone. Like, yeah. they no longer are distilling. So, it is gone. Uh, I liked it a lot, actually. Um, but, yeah. So, this is... Once this is gone, I think we will never get another bottle of this. Correct. I mean... The odds are. Yeah. No soup for you. No soup for you. Hey, Captain. Captain making it happen. I'm making it happen. Well, it's making they're, it happen. They're, but he's making it happen. They're in there. Austin. Yes. Um, anyways, I was going to show mm -hmm. them. What else? Oh, I will. Okay, yeah. we're doing this. Okay. Because it's kind of back here. Oh, dear. Oh. Mm. Don't be such a Chad, Chad. Oh, jeez. That's what they said. Too early in our marriage for that, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. Be on my team. Thank you. Okay. So Hawaiian whiskey. I really like it. We've had some samples. What was that? Old Polly? We had a sample of the Old Polly from Hawaii. Um, You're asking me to remember things. and that's... Oh, so you can remember names. I can remember whiskey. <laughs> I think that's it. People will be like, we tried this. I'm like, nah, I don't know. <laughs> But I could see a person, I'd be like, we met them in this city this year. And I can't remember their name necessarily, but I'll be like, I remember because they did this thing. Yeah. And that's what I have to offer. 
There you go. Neither of us are good at names. No. No. Um, so, yeah. So, this is from Don. Also, he gave us these freaking amazing... I thought the cornflake cookies were the best, but here come these... Chocolate chip chocolate macadamia nut. Mac nut. And they're gone. Yeah, we finished them, Don. And oh. I may have mixed up the macadamia candies and with the Halloween candy that I took to a friend's house and then it got taken and it was, it's now gone too. That's okay. That is not an invitation. We're not saying, Don, please send us candy because, you know, it's after Halloween. We're good on the candy. We're going to, you know, take it down because we got Thanksgiving coming up. Mm -hmm. um, but we just mm -hmm. want to tell you how much we enjoy them. But um, I mean at Christmas. <laughs> And those those freaking little balls with the, I think they also have macadamia. They, yeah, it's, they love macadamia nuts. Uh, it's like a macadamia nut with, covered with toffee, covered in chocolate, and rolled in powdered sugar. But apparently not <laughs> pineapple. Newsflash: We're gaining weight. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently not pineapple. Ham and pineapple. Ham and pineapple is not a, a Hawaiian thing. Not a Hawaiian thing. But damn it, if I don't love ham and pineapple on my pizza, I'm just saying. I also do. Yeah. That's why we work, I guess. Yes. Um, we'll work out for candy. Um, <laughs> All right. Don. Don. What else did Don give us? Because otherwise, we're over halfway through the show, and we are not halfway through these gifts. No, we're not. Look at this. Blanton's Red. Did you even know that it existed? Blanton's I didn't even know before Red. this year. It's a Japanese only. Um, and look how similar it looks. Well, it comes in the bag like ours do. Yes. How similar it looks to ours here in the States. It does. Pretty freaking identical, except it has... As the Japanese as characters. As Japanese characters here on the neck tag. And ours doesn't come with this anymore. Not anymore. No. It is a 750 milliliter, uh, though, so that must be, you know, not all overseas places get the 700 milliliter. Um, but it's the same proof. It's 93 proof. I think this is probably identical, except It's just for this, the Japanese market. Yeah. But... Needed it for the collection. Yeah. <laughs> just I'll just say that. Yeah. I'm just going to put this over here and put it away later. Okay, that sounds good. Yep. Well. If you could put that over there. Yep. And then, so this is, you know, where we feel um, hashtag blessed because <laughs> hashtag blessed. Uh, Harry that we met in Austin at the La Quinta, he had a Blanton's Black that was open. It was sharing it with people. And then once he found out that we needed a black to complete our collection he corked it he put it back uh away and he was like i'm gonna i'm gonna send it to you and then carl ivy was like can i have some <laughs> <laughs> we like, Shh, carl ivy but then we were like no it's his birthday he can have it. yeah uh so just incredible generosity it is it is coming to us now uh and here's a part where we feel just unworthy hashtag blessed, <laughs> hashtag blessed is uh don also had a bottle of Blanton's Black, so we have this as well. But what's cool is we'll have one that's opened. Right, that we can actually use for like episodes and stuff, and then we have this one which is part of the collection. Part of the collection that like, will be determined what happens that, with yeah, it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not forever sealed and like tucked away. It's yes. just like gonna be cool to take a picture of all of them sealed. Yes. How neat is that? Um, I wanna put that on Instagram. Who's talking about Jet's Pizza? Because we, oh, Jets. we had that last night. Chad convinced me to have it, and then he made me eat candy. Oh, wh oh, whatever. And then he made me drink. Oh, jeez. Okay. And so when people are like, Sarah looks pregnant again, <laughs> I'm going to be like, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, so so we can go that... here? Yes. I already did it. All right, You're cool. behind. All right, fine. <laughs> Let me take care of this notebook. Yes. Uh, yeah. Look, it has a bow. From Doug Tempest here. This is Little Book. This is the third chapter. So this is the first one that is a bourbon. Yes. And uh, we were so excited yes. to get this. this and then like also, another one came through this as was well. Also opened there, and we had some. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Little Book. And rolling on from Little Book to Booker's, <laughs> we also got. Oh, y'all are funny. This, which is the 2017-04 Sip a While, which is one of our favorites, and we love, we love. We love Sip a While. We love, we love, uh, we love. Someone, they just know us so oh. well. Uh, Chris says, um, how much Blantons do we want? We can ship now. Oh, wow, well hey. that's cool. Um, we want all the Blantons. No, that's not true. Don't say that. You say that, and then like, 
come August next year, he's going to be like, but really, how much do you want? <laughs> and I mean, now that we have all of them, I think we're probably set, but we'll chat about that later. Because who knows? We've got, yeah. you guys know the day count. I don't know how many days we've got, but we've got a few. We do. Um, did we miss one? I feel like I missed a super chat. I'm going to pour a little bit of this nope. Todd Cooper uh, shouting shouting out of uh, Old Pogue here because we were we were Old Pogueless there for we a minute. We were Pogueless. So shout out <laughs> to Todd Cooper. Uh, but that, that is for, for Chris. Chris Taz, yes. And also shout out to Todd, but separate. Yes, They're separate. Separate. separate it's but separate. The same, but separate. Mm. Do you have that AW? Mm. <laughs> In one of them, yeah. You can definitely tell which one is the four roses. Okay. I think. This is the AW. Yeah, that's the AW. Mmm. How's that sound on the microphone? <laughs> it's solid, the AW. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I do enjoy. Do enjoy. Thank you, Todd Koopa. Yes. And thank the Koopa you. Troopas. He's literally like our old Pogue supplier. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually think that every bottle of Old Pogue that we have, or have had, has been from Todd Cooper, except yes, maybe the first one. The first one, correct. This, oh, I didn't notice, look how recessed that is. Ew, wow. stop doing that to Sorry. it. I don't <laughs> like it. Uh, this is a what's new. We bought this on the, the meetup weekend, but this was from Luxro. This is a- His t-shirt's also a what's new. Mm, there you go. Distillery exclusive. Um, so this is their 12 year. Um, Double barrel aged. Yeah. Yeah. 118.4 proof cast strength. Mm -hmm. uh, distillery exclusive. And they actually do a cool thing, which I don't know if it was just for our group or if it's like regular, but. Here's another case if we need one. Oh, nice. Thank you. Um, I don't know where we would put it at this point, uh, to be honest. Um, so they let us sample this as part of our tasting, but it was like in addition to the normal tasting. And I think it sold them a few bottles because we, we bought one after we tried it. And I know that at least one other person bought a bottle. So I think, a couple people I think did. that's actually pretty smart on a distillery's part. Like Our group if you spent some money. <laughs> yeah. We like to, you know, we like the finer things. Yeah, the finer <laughs> things. The finer things. Joseph Brazo, I know what he's talking about. He said, I think I need to send 300 pounds of Halloween candy to Sarah. I don't. He went to a Halloween. Please the, don't. the reason why he wasn't on the Patreon only live was because he was at a Halloween candy buyback or like a charity thing. Oh. And apparently he bought 300 pounds of Halloween candy. So. How does your wife feel about that? Because, oh wait, she's not a dentist. She's an orthodontist. That's right. So. Correct. Not her problem. <laughs> as, I, I don't as, think. As is he. Um, you have water. Right. I will. Will. There you go, Joseph. Thank you for that. I, we appreciate it. I can't it. help it. <laughs> You're moving at a different... They do that at their office. So then, how does how do you feel about they, they the They buy fact... it back. Hmm? They buy it so kids don't eat it. For the teeth. Oh. Remember that episode of Bob's Burgers where Dr... Dr... Mm, I don't remember his name... This was, seems weird. He was stealing kids' candy in that gorilla costume. Yeah. And they kept having their candy stolen, and it turned out to be, spoiler alert, Dr. Brr. Yeah, yeah, the Bob's doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a... Oh, then they sent it to the troops. Well, that's nice. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I've proof. never heard of this before. We proof. And I don't remember this episode of Bob's Burgers, which I'm disappointed in myself on. But Rick and Morty comes Dr. back soon. Dr. Carp? Is this something like that? I don't know. That sounds made up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So starts our shout out to Glenn and Kathy. Golf okay. Whiskey. Mr. and Mrs. Golf Mr. Whiskey. Mr. and Mrs. Golf Whiskey, who this is, is in the chat. A large shout out. <laughs> yes. And uh, henceforth, it's, it's Mrs. the shout out. It's multifaceted. We'll say that. Um, which the first one's going to be an uncorking of this Sam Houston 12 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey 98. Proof. Haven't had this before. Never had this. Looking forward to opening it. Oh, we're gonna up. open it. Yeah. Oh, Let's I love when Chad does uncorkings on just like prompt, unprompted. I mean, this might be a record of live uncorkings. Pause, cork, pop. I like to get out of the way. There we go. Someone pointed that out recently. They were yeah, like, Sarah always looks like Chad's gonna punch her. <laughs> like, well, because the one time I, I don't move, yet. but the one time I don't move, it's gonna give you trouble, and you're gonna, <laughs> and I'm gonna get hit in the eye. And I to don't, the moon, Alice. I don't really want to get hit in the eye. I bet half of our audience gets that reference. It's a pretty old one. Sarah not being one of them. 
Nope. Awesome. I've heard it before. I don't know what it's from. Little show, Dr. Yap. Thank you, Russian Drago. Thank you, Dr. Yap. Wait, what did call, I say? Like, I, call Drago? I said Yarp. Drogo. Drago. Call Drago. Or is it uh, Rocky Four? Who is that? Honeymooners? Yeah. Oh. Honeymooners. I have no idea. To the moon, Alice. One of these days. It was about domestic abuse, but it was okay back then. <laughs> he never did it. He always just threatened to hit her. Oh, okay. To the moon, Alice. All right. You know, punch well, you to the moon. Okay. The Honeymooners. Okay. Which is what the Flintstones were based off of. A lot of things from the Simpsons. Uh, you know, you can trace it back. Family Guy. Interesting. I think I need to watch this so that I know. Oh, from Rocky uh, 4. Yeah, Rocky 4. There you Sorry. go. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Drago. I don't know. Yeah. In my mind, everything's Game of Thrones. I must I bought a Christmas I must sweater. Break you. I brought a, I got us Christmas sweaters today, if I can speak, um, for our upcoming holiday episode. And mine says, uh, Joy to the Realm. And it's got all of the Game of Thrones. Uh, Instead of Joy to the World. world. Yeah. Yes, there that's how that goes. So hey. you can look forward to that. Hey. It's pretty good for a little 93 proofer. Oh, yeah. Well, Just a it's baby. 12, it, or it's 98. not a baby. 98. It's 12 years old. <laughs> I know. 98 proofer, excuse me. Um, oh, 2000. Oh, this is kind of. 2007. Orangey. What's the barrel date? Yeah. Uh, 12 years and four months at the age of bottling. Char level number four, Ooh. which I always thought was alligator char, and then someone the other day said that char three was alligator char. Uh, I. I thought char four was alligator. I know. Char is such a weird thing because some people are like, there's seven lever, le levers, of char. levers right. of char. And it, others are like, there's four. It just depends on who you I ask. I think it's like, like metric system versus, is. you know, empirical. I kind of. Like, on a level, on like a char level six scale, what is an actual char level four? Is it still a char yes. level four or is it actually a five? I have no idea and no I need knows. someone to explain this to me. But it might Corey, be the different Cooperages. Cheers, Corey. <coughs> Thanks for the, Thanks super, for the chat. super chat. We'll just put that towards the laptop fund. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can ask a question. Hey, Talk Uber also thought that, you know, Char 4 was alligator. But we heard... I don't know where we heard it. There are some discrepancies. It. You know who I bet would know? Michael Beach. I really think, because, you know, you have Independence Dave, you have uh, the other guys. <laughs> Kelvin's Kelvin. Cooperage. Um... um Brown Foreman. Brown Foreman has their own uh, cooperage. I really think, you know, I, I think it's like small batch. There is no agreed definition. upon definition. I really think I mean, I is. think they just try to go by seconds or range of seconds, but yeah. like who actually knows? If he dies. He uh, dies. Greg TS says, I want to try and get you guys at NM Bourbon. I'm guessing that means New Mexico? Is it Greg T. Stack? Greg That's what I'm wondering. Greg T. Stack. Is it Greg T. Georgia? Stack? Because that's cool. That is cool. Um, you should change your name to that. Yeah, we should, yeah, that's we'd who love you to should try be. some NM bourbon, whatever that might be. I mean, we are, for the coins, at least, for the purpose of the coins, if nothing yeah. else but expanding our knowledge, are exploring uh, the bourbons and whiskeys of other states. I like this. I like this, too. Why are you so surprised? I'm not surprised. Lynn is sitting there saying, why is he so surprised, I'm not Kathy? surprised. I love... <laughs> Kathy, why is he so surprised? I love the transparency. It's got the mash bill right here. It Distilled does. and aged in Bardstown, Kentucky. Bottled by Three Springs Bottling Company, uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, for Western Spirits, which is your bird dog. Your uh, uh, farm, Claremont, not Claremont, uh, uh, Clear, um, Dag. Calumet? Calumet, thank you. Calumet farm. I was going to let him go. Uh, Lexington bourbon. That's these guys. 74% corn, 18% rye. 8% malted barley. Boom. It's good. I don't know the price. What's the price on this, Glenn? It's kind of sweet it's at good. the front, but it's Craig actually T-Stag. Got like a decent level of... It's from Barstown Bourbon Company? I mean, they do a lot of fulfillment. That's what like, Glenn said. I don't know. It's good. It's still sourced, but they put it together, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it, it brings like a fair amount of the char. Like you can taste the oak in the char. That's a but it's also got some sweetness to it. It's a $100 bottle. How do you... A what? It, a what? Linda it's said, a what? It's a what? It's a what? It's a what? Oh my goodness gracious. And then also Sam. Sam, $20 super chat. Well, you That's know That's a triangle. That's a triangle. Cheers. Ah, love the channel. First live. Welcome. Here's a triangle for you. 
Everyone say hello to Sam Pitts for Everyone their say, Hi, first Sam. live. Just cracked open my new Heaven Hill bottled and bond seven year. Ooh. Think uh think you will love it. Ooh, Cheers. that's exciting. Cheers to you. <laughs> Joseph says, Hi Lewis. I don't know why. But this is good. This is good. He does his own thing. <laughs> Um, Thank you for the bottle. Yes. Also, we have other things from Glenn and Kathy is a John J. Bowman, uh, Virginia straight bourbon whiskey single barrel, uh, Barton slash Heaven, not Heaven Hill, uh, Buffalo Trace. Yep. There you go. So I don't know how they get away with that Virginia thing. Um, it's not made in Virginia. Maybe it's just bottled in Virginia. They can call it Virginia. Maybe. Don't know. But um, this is awesome. We've had this before, and we are a fan. So thank you, Glenn and Kathy, for this. And it goes on. Oh, it goes on. <laughs> oh, it we goes actually, on. they got us this bottle of, uh, I think it's Catoctin. Is that how you say it? I feel like someone gave me the phonetics before, but it's been so long. I thought it was, I like thought it was No, I think it's Catoctin. Catoctin. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, it's gin, which I'm actually pretty excited to have because I'm not like getting into gin, don't get me wrong. But I thought I hated gin, and then I had Castle and Keys gin, and I was like, oh, I actually kind of like this. Um, in cocktails, and I have some friends that are into gin cocktails, so this is actually great to have around, because other than the Castle and Key, I don't mm -hmm. have any other gin in the house. 92 proof. That's lovely. Copper pot stills. Also, this uh, Mary Hyde Bowman Caramel Bourbon Cream, mm -mm. Uh, I could see this being in some holiday recipes, Read if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's gonna be good. Uh, Drew Sargent said the Bowman Brothers is redistilled at the distillery in Virginia. I'm right with the Catoctin. Not sure how. I'm I mean, not offended by the liking of gin. Redistilling <laughs> a bourbon. I'll have to get inf more information on that. Maybe do an episode about it. That's interesting. You know. Jason Newman in the chat. Steven Sussman in the chat. Trev Wilson in the chat. <laughs> Nothing but bourbon is ever going to be my first choice. Like, I think I can... Gin ate my joint. <laughs> I think I'm at the point in my life where, like, I have found what I like to drink, and it's red wine, and it's whiskey, and I will appreciate a gin. I can taste it. I loved the experience at Castle and Key. They gave us all of, like, the um, ingredients separated into what went into their autumn release gin, and it was so fun to, like, nose all the ingredients, then taste the gin and see what you could pick up. The cocktail was amazing. Speaking of wine. But gin just is not my thing. But speaking of wine, uh, this is a raspberry Merlot. This is a dessert wine uh, from Glenn and Kathy as well. I have not opened this yet. I cannot wait to open it. Um, I think, ooh, you know, I think this would be really good at Thanksgiving. That's what I, ooh, I'm going to say this for Thanksgiving. Okay. Dessert wine. Also from Glenn and Kathy. Yes, show everything. I'll take these down. Catoctin, Catoctin Creek. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> like it's, uh, like it's, um... Mm, no. What's that? Just pass. What's that? What's that? Uh, Star Trek language. Oh, I don't know. Uh, um, like it's Klingon. Why are you throwing things at me? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is yours. Yes. Don't throw anything else at me. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> and this is mine. If you throw that at me, for John Jay, I'm gonna get up and leave. Boom! No, this is yours. This would be very tweet on me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we need to get something in our glass though for Jeff Winbush. Oh, Yay, Sarah, for red wine and bourbon. Yay. Separately, yes. Yay yes, for indeed. red wine and bourbon. Um, Speaking of bourbon, it is like Christmas over here, Trev. That's what I literally said. Are you like my fairy godparents? Is this my like Christmas gift, I don't understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, they brought us a ton of shot glasses, uh, some honey, some uh, bourbon lip balm. Oh yeah, um, bourbon lip balm. I feel like we're missing something. Green Hill, Virginia honey, uh, shot glasses from the J. Uh, Smith a Bowman key distillery. Chain. Or A. Smith, is that an A or a. a J? A J. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, key a keychain. A keychain. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. There was so much stuff. Oh, the... Uh, uh, just reach on back. This right here? Actually, Henry McKenna. Oh, ah, the McKenna. Yeah, Bob yes. and Bond. They, they gave one of these as a like door prize. That, they um, put together goodie bags for everybody with yeah. candy in them, mm -hmm. and everyone had a number in there. And they drew for a bottle. It was a surprise bottle. 
and uh, Tony won. Tony won, um, it. yep. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was so sweet. Like, that's be I didn't even do that good of a job at planning this meetup, and they, like, came with all the things <laughs> together. How sweet. We will uh, cheers oh, you. Oh, Glenn. Th thank you, Glenn. We will cheers you with... With... Uh, you don't like this. This dovetail that was left behind. Okay. And I don't know if it was meant to be left behind. And it was part of the, like, 50 to 60 bottles that were there at the uh, Home to Sweets uh, end party that per capita may rival um, Like La bottles Quinta. per person, yeah. yeah. Just just a little, yeah. yeah. So um, I, don't, I don't know if we were meant to end up with this, but we but did. But we did, and if you want it back, you know how to contact us. Uh, thank you for bringing this. Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't think you liked this one, though. This is barrel bourbon. This is dovetail. This mm -hmm. is whiskey finished in rum, port, and Dunn Vineyard Cabernet barrels. Oh, then it must be think I must be thinking of the Infinity bottle. Yeah. There's one that's got some Scotch notes, and I yes. know you wouldn't like it, and it might be the Infinity. 122.9 proof. Um, Will said something that was very startling to me. He saw a McKenna 10 for $180 the other day, and he walked right out. Some people just try. They're like, if we get a rich business person coming into town and they see it, and they've and never seen it before, and they, they see might. it there, they might plop down because they think it's normal. I mean, I'm sure someone has. Whew, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've seen it for 40, 45, but it's limit one per person every single time you yeah. see it now. Oh well. For sure. Guess we better shut up about the next thing we find. <laughs> I mean, we were like harping. It was us. We were harping on that for like two years we before were, we it, were. it won the San Francisco World Sprints yeah. competition. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, we help some people find it before that. Did we? I don't think we count bell cheers, Glenn. Oh, Thank we you, Glenn. didn't. Thank you, Glenn yes. and Kathy, and who Glenn I assume Kathy. is also watching. Mr. and Mrs. Golf. Um, Ooh. Mm. Well, or foolproof for. Eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. If you're gonna pay, okay. Oh. If you're going to pay that much for anything, you should just get yourself a one Larry Weller. I've seen Stag Junior for two hundred dollars. I still don't recommend that, but wow. I'm just saying, like, if that's what you're gonna do, I think you should just go for William Larry Weller's uh, George T. Stag. Like, I would not. I wouldn't. This do is it. a really interesting nose. It's foolproof. Is is good. It's really good. I wouldn't pay more than a hundred dollars for a bottle. I would love to do a pick of it. That's would love to. Not gonna happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you have to start with like years of Buffalo Trace picks just to get like a Weller 107. Well, pick. you gotta sell like what do they make? Fireball. You gotta uh, move cases and cases like of Fireball or and like Wheatley vodka, whatever, and, like, whatever, they whatever make. else they make. You have to move cases of that in order to get the allocated. So like, All right, we'll give you some allocated. We'll give you stuff. something. I mean, it's it's politics, folks. It's politics. Um, well, when everybody wants them, you yeah. just gotta figure it out. Mm. Oh, that's desserty. Yeah, it is. It's mm. good. I mean, I like it. Kind of creme brulee ish. Uh huh. But also with some cherry. That's, I like it. But like nice. Oh, oh well, there he goes again. Drink. I, I, oh, I see why. Because we're almost out of time. But we're not out of time because apparently Chad's getting up to hit the button. <laughs> I want to see if there's anything mm. else. This is nice. Oh, and now he's, he's taking a peek around. Didn't. Shout out. Oh, there's this. Oh, oh, there's one more thing actually that we forgot. Oh yeah, this is from Glenn and Kathy as well. It says whiskey business. And it's it's because it's a whiskey and it's also whiskey, which is funny because I like to cook. I thought it was really cute. Um, there's this thing right here on the end. Oh yes, that. We'll do that for sure. Orlando says, hello, happy to say I've joined the Newlywed Club along with you guys. Congratulations. Love your content and keep it going. Congrats. That deserves a cowbell cheer. Sure does. And so does um, Mark Brown. It's a bourbon night Christmas. <laughs> it's a bourbon night Christmas. It really is. It feels like early Christmas yeah, to us. Yeah, it does. It really um, does. So thankful. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes sense that it came within, like, what, three to four weeks of Thanksgiving? Yeah. Well, it was also pretty soon after our wedding. A lot of these were like... Belated know, wedding gifts. Belated, and... belated wedding gifts. Your birthday was also around there. So, you know. Um, but nevertheless, just generosity out the wazoo. I mean, baffled every time. Speaking of baffled generosity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was that one group gift that we haven't mentioned yet. Yes. <gasps> 
purple. So we go to Heaven Hill and we walk in and we're waiting for our tour and we go over to like, it's remodeled. So we're just checking it out and we see a guy coming with a cart full of bottles and we see Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and we're like, ooh, I hope that's C919 and it is. So we pick that up and we're like, oh, and then I look in the cabinet and I'm like, Chad, the purple one. The purple. The purple. And all I could, I was like, the, pur the purple. The purple. The purple. The they the purple. have it for sale. And it was like $280. It may have been like $289. I don't even remember. Um, and I was just like in awe. And he was like, all right, well, we'll come after, after we're done. All right, just come on. Uh, and so we left. And apparently, while we were checking out the rest of the store, all the people on the meetup got together and were like, pss, pss, pss. <laughs> and they decided, well, first Andrew, Drew Bolin, was going to be like, oh, I'm just going to get it so that they can uncork it and it can go in their best of 2019. And everyone was like, well, I'll pitch in. And they were all like, well, we'll all pitch in. And they all pitched in and bought us this bottle. And, like, that is the actual being there in person representation of what all of our patrons do all the time. But it was so touching, mm -hmm. like, that they did that for us. And as you can see, we have opened it already. And we may or may not have filmed it uncorking. <laughs> yeah. We definitely um, filmed uncorking. I'm probably going to put this on the thumbnail, so this isn't a spoiler. This is a best of 2019 strong contender. Strong. It's good. <laughs> and that's all we'll say. That's all Because we'll say. I don't want to spoil the episode for you when it comes out. Uh, it's a 12-year-old... It is 134.4 proof. Oh, it's so good. I wish I could have some more it's right not, now. It's not an expensive, expensive version of Elijah Craig Barrel It's proof. not that. It's not. No. It's in a different ballpark. I'll just say that. Yes. It's so good. Uh, and so Drew also, Drew also bought, bought a bottle one. And let us uncork it on the bus. On the way And share home. a little bit. And uh, Woo Drew. Woo. Let's give a cowbell cheer to Woo Drew. Woo Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's amazing. Yeah, it mm. was crazy. Oh, <laughs> John Wadsworth uh, super chatted, bus uncorking's rule. Yes. Who, I didn't know that I had the talent of being able to balance myself while driving, well, not while riding on a large bus. <laughs> you were driving? I was driving, and with I was- With her foot. With my foot, and I was pouring bottles. No, um, Tracy was so responsibly driving, and- uh, yeah, I didn't know that that was a skill I had, but apparently everyone was impressed by it. Yeah. Um, you know, you Swoosh. you just you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. John, again, thank you so much. Bus on Corking's rule. I know. What you was that it. last thing that? Um, well, I, I just poured. I kind of want some more of that dovetail. That was actually really nice. Okay. No spillage. You were right, Todd. I deserve the crown or award, some sort of medal you for not spilling. You should see her in spilling. a crown. You should see. Uh, I still want to do the Billy Eilish thing with <laughs> my Invisalign, like start an episode with like, my Invisalign's out, and, and this, this is, is the, the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is also from uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn and Kathy. Um, some home blends. Oh yeah, they gave us some samples. Yes. Uh, Grandpa Weller. How could I have forgotten? <laughs> four grain. It's 50% Old Granddad 114 and 50% Weller Special mm. Reserve. I like this one a lot. He also has his Poor Man's Pappy, which is the conventional recipe of 60% Weller 107 and 40% Weller 12 year. Uh, then he also gave us this sample of McClintock Distilling Matchstick Bourbon 90 proof, which we haven't cracked open yet. No. But, um, mm -mm. That sounds good. Golf Whiskey Glenn and Kathy say, Surfing Sarah on Surfing. the bus. Surfing yes. USA. That's right. Mm. It's good. That was a really good day. I like, I'm sorry for all the people who were hungover I like on that, that bus. I like that one a lot. That's what happens when you're part of the 3 a.m. crew, though. Right. <laughs> the mom in me is like, well, you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up on Sunday morning and was also not feeling good. And I was like, someone please just give me a kid's chicken tenders. Which you got. Which I got a you, double well, order. two of them. Yeah, I got a double. We have had Blade and Bow. Um, I think the 20, was it 22 year? 21 year? I think it's 22. I think Blade and Bow is good. It's rather good. The I think Blade and Bow is a 30 to $35 bourbon and a 50, like, 
and the rest of what you pay is for the actual bottle and the keys. And those damn keys. It's good though. I mean, That's you can good. get a good thirty dollar bottle of bourbon. Like you can get a. I mean, Henry McKenna was a thirty dollar bottle of bourbon. Yeah. I personally think I'd rather have a McKenna, mm. but like just so you're aware, it's a thirty to thirty five dollar quality, like what you'd normally find in that range, bourbon and a fancy bottle yeah. with keys. That's cool, and everyone likes it. So now the uh, I'm getting a little scared. I feel the see, H is see coming a out. Greg T. Stag. He hey, said, you changed your name to Greg T. Stag. No, it was it's, his name was Greg T. Stag before you were supposed to change to Joe. Er, Oh, he changed no, it, it was, to Stag. It was, it was Greg T.S. Oh, good job. He said something about us changing his life. It's Bourbon Night to change my life. Or change my name. Not his life. I'm sorry. That my age or is showing. His, or his life. My age is I showing. I feel like, though, we really touched him and changed his life. Weird. I don't like <laughs> to say it that way. Wow. Oh, goodness. Yes. No, I like these blends. I like. I think I'm more on this OGD 114. Can I help? Yeah, go for it. Oh, well. Well, you want some? I'll pour some more in here. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, your fans always love when the H and Z show up. <laughs> yes, it's true. Chaz and Sarah with an H. You know what I was thinking about today? Yeah. I was thinking about how when I went to the store, I put on a sweatshirt. I put on someone else's sweatshirt. And I wish we had, like, nice sweatshirts that were embroidered. Maybe just for me and you. And then if we get enough compliments on them, because they're more, they would be more expensive hey, items. Ian then said we could put them out. He wants this shirt. I as still want to a do hoodie. It. I oh yeah. Would you buy this shirt as a hoodie? As a black hoodie? I would. I would. Um, but I'm talking like a not a Patagonia jacket, but you know what I'm talking about, like a fleece or a vest or a something. Pullover, a cardigan. A something that's like business, corporate-y. Business. That we can wear to like events and things. And then if pe if enough people are oh, like, I, do, I would buy that, then I, we could make some. I do want to drink more bourbon. Uh, like embroidered. Embroidered polo, for sure. Okay, well, then we need to make those things happen. We will. Um, Brian says he would buy that shirt as a hoodie. Her hoodie, yes, hoodies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do our shirts fit? They fit great. Yes. Okay, sorry. It took me a second. I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the, uh, the the Bourbon International... Uh, Trev, yes. I'm going to work on your will work out for bourbon. Will work out for bourbon? He wants it to show his guns off. The guns Now, show. I don't know if that's the shirt he wants. It could be just drink more bourbon. That could be a workout shirt. But it's kind of scripty, and I feel like a dude would not wear that at yeah. the gym. Now, the the uh, the shirts that Leanne's talking about... How do I have two? Um, ...are these two awesome polos that they gave us while they were here. The, yes. The Aussies. International uh, bourbon tasters. Yes, and uh, they are they are great. They are very nice. Thank you for that again. Very cool. Driver says, if you do hoodies, please do both pullover and zip up. No hoodies, please. Zip up sweatshirt. How will we zip it, though, when the logo goes through? Well, they do Does that. Does that work? Yeah they, yeah, they can make it happen. Clearly, I don't own a lot happen. of zips. I think I'm going to open up this McClintock distilling. Oof. See what's what. I love Trav Trev. Just always is just finding new ways to describe the softness of our shirts. Uh, can a shirt I purchased be swapped for a different size? Yes, it can. Um, yeah, as long as you... Just email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com. As long as you haven't torn off the tag or, yeah, as long, or yes. you know, done anything. Like worn it. <laughs> worn it, washed it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Then yes, uh, it can. Um... We'll talk about that in an email, but we can just ship you the new shirt with the return label in the bag for the old shirt, and you send it back, and it's all good. Everyone's happy. Hmm. We'll make you happy. Beanies, maybe. Ooh, we talked about caps. Yep. Is that what old people call hats? Caps? Is a hat? No, it's a, it's a baseball, baseball cap. hat. It's a baseball it's cap. It's a cap. It's a baseball cap, yeah. Caps for sale. <laughs> Sorry. I love that book. Huh. Uh, is it time for new rules? What new rules? Yona, what you talking about? McClintock Distilling. First time watcher. Hi from Seattle, Mike Michael Brown. Hi Michael, thanks for first time viewer. Yeah. <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. This is interesting. Tastes a little maybe youngish. I don't know. Matchstick bourbon. Youngish. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I have still haven't tried this one. <laughs> Ooh. 
whoa, whoa. You know, that's a good thing to bring up, Trevor Olson. Be sure to check out patreon.com slash disturbanite oh, and whiskeyambitions.com. People, people were asking, how do I find their Patreon so that I can become a member so that I can get on the meetup list? Yep. Patreon.com slash itsbourbonite. And then things like this and our glassware is whiskeyambitions.com. For those that are whiskey ambitious, we salute you. It's, my it's kind of marshmallowy. I thought it was drink more bourbon. Well, it's both. <laughs> I can have more than one. For those about to bourbon. We salute you. <laughs> For those about to rocks. Rocks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. You said that before. Have I? Yes. I was probably drunk then, too. <laughs> oh, uh, John, Chad, Piper wants to know where your wedding ring is. I also would like to know. <laughs> Sometimes on the weekend, I, I take it We've off. We've been cleaning and doing a lot of, yes. like... Hanging stuff and today was like a you know chore cleaning. This reminds me of marshmallows. Day, so I I took it off and I just forgot to put it back on. But nothing salacious. <laughs> Better not be. Do you know? Okay, cheers to you, John. Cheers. Do you know those bags of like colored Jet Puff marshmallows? They're the pink and green and yellow ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what that tastes like. Oh okay, I can, I can get behind that. And then C. C. Peterson, Peterson, no question, the just the two dollars. Thank you much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Amen to that, Travis. I don't know what we're amening to, but okay. But um, amen, Travis. Trent says you guys are great. Videos are very informative and reviews cover readily available selections. Keep it up. Thank you. We try. This is an interesting season because this time of year is the <laughs> like limited edition release time. And so we feel like we're trying to cover things that are relevant and coming out in every yeah. market, yes. but there's less new things that are of a, like a lower price. Correct. So it's hard for us to get that balance it's this time season. of year. It's LE season. Now, the uh, nice thing is we have that Heaven Hill bottle and bond, the new one, which is yeah. runs like in the forties. I would consider that lower. Sure. We always want to have a nice balance Absolutely. so that we're not just doing like fancy stuff. You'll never find. I and mean, if you do, you can't afford. Scott asks, where's your cream of Kentucky? It's put away because we didn't like it that well. <gasps> it's true. It's true. It was just all right. Wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to love it, you know, but I don't know. I want to try it again. We haven't tried it in a while. We should revisit it. Jeff Wimbush Let's brings up a good it. point. 337 watching, less than 100 likes. Yeah, give us that thumbs up, guys. Question mark? From what I hear, it actually does help your discoverability on the YouTube. So, yeah, we, we usually don't mention it, but if you could give us a thumbs up, we would greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Was Chad jealous that I tattooed Daniel? I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> she I did. think he was proud. I was very proud. Actually, that you just, you ran up there. You had like a bottle of water in your purse and you were going to take your scarf off. I didn't know that they had a washcloth and water for they me. They were prepared. So I was prepared to use my own scarf and my own water. So if you go and watch their video of the recap of the Bastards Ball, you can see Sarah like walking up there, taking off her scarf and like, what is she doing? Because in the next shot, she has I her have scarf it back, back on. on. Yeah. Because she was totally going to sacrifice her scarf to do the temporary tattoo to, to rub yeah to rub daniel's back i don't have to rub it you just kind of dab you dab you, you just, just put water on it dab. and then you just dab you just that's dab. a temporary tattoo yeah and um, that's dabbing anyways but it was fun experience i'm glad i got to do it yes so uh jason Ballou says blue the bear again cheers fort worth texas hey cheers i love that that's your name it just warms my heart. Texas Texas Squad. Those oh, Texas Lord. Challenge coins are available. Yes, they Speaking are. Speaking of, Whiskey Ambitions. Oh, I do want to mention the Kentucky coins are probably down to about a fourth. Like a quarter, yeah. A fourth of them left. Mm, uh, it's getting low. So if you want to get in on that batch one of Challenge coins, it's whiskeyambitions.com. Get that Kentucky Challenge coin. Which, I mean, if we don't um, have a lot of demand, we won't reorder them. Right. So. Yeah. There's. It'll just be those. There's talk of doing a second batch or second edition of batch one which would start at 501 and go up but, but i don't know, know. maybe we'll, we'll just cap see. it at 500 and that'll be it forever i think that's what we should do will says what the hell is a challenge coin a challenge coin is a thing it's over there it's behind the laptop i think it it originated in the military um and someone else could probably tell you a lot more about this but i think you got one for your your unit or what, squadron a, yeah, or, yeah. Some, whatever group you were in um they they would get these made and then when you would all go out drinking together 
everyone, one guy or one person would pull out their challenge coin and put it down on the table and everyone else in that group would have to pull out any coin that they had, um, any challenge coin that they had and put it down. And if that you don't have one, then you have to buy at the round of drinks. If everyone has theirs, then the person who Challenge. challenged has to buy the round. And so, so that's kind of where it originated and the whiskey community has adopted this. Yeah, like the whiskey um, dick, the scotch test scotch dummies, and summies, uh, um, the mash and drum, mash and drum, no nonsense whiskey, uh, the whiskey vault has their toast. They on have a, their toast on, a, on their coin. On challenge coin for the magnificent bastards. Yeah, and the um, list goes on. And the list goes on. Uh, oh, oh, Roy from Aquavite. Mm. How could we, How can't can we forget, forget Roy, Roy from Aquavite? We shouldn't send out Christmas cards with our face on them. We should just send out Christmas cards with Roy's, Roy's face on voice. <laughs> Roy's voice. A Christmas gram with Roy's voice. Saying, you know, Merry Christmas in his delicious accent. Ugh. Uh, so <laughs> what? just called him delicious. All right, all right, Do all right. you contest? No. All right. I agree. Uh, so what we're doing, so batch one is Kentucky. You know the state quarters that, all the states? Well, that was, yeah. We're doing that for the great states of bourbon. Because kind of. bourbon can only be made in the United States. So right. the first one, of course, is Kentucky. It's our homeland. It's the birthplace of bourbon. Batch two, which is now available, is Texas. Because Texas is a big explosion of bourbon now. We've been there twice We've experienced it. We love Iron Root and others. Uh, Balcones is great. Other places, wonderful. Uh, so that's two. Three, question mark. We TBD. Don't know, TBD. We want to we know and we want to hear from you. But this challenge coin, this is my personal one. This is number 182, which no one will ever be able to get because I'm going to get all number 182s. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now it's fine. But what's mine is yours. So. Uh, on the side, it has the state motto, which is United We Stand, Divided We Fall. It has Kentucky, it has its Nutty Bourbon Squad. Night, Nutty Squad, um, yeah, and it's um, beautiful. as I say to Kentucky, it has an American flag behind it, it's, will there be a Tennessee coin? I mean, yes, eventually, we, we don't know at what point, but um, yeah, and Iron Root did have their fifth anniversary yesteryear, yesterday, yesterday. yesterday. and um, Matt from the Whiskey Crusades <laughs> was kind enough to get a bottle for us, um, I actually bought a bottle through him, that he's going to have for us. Uh, and I'm so excited because they are so, I just love what they're doing. Like they're great dudes. They're doing it right. Also, Marsh is amazing. Yes. Their mom. Like yes. they're just, yes, I can't say enough nice things. So happy anniversary to them. You should read Trev's comment. Trev there. says, I traded my coin with an Air Force guy I was deployed with, still have it to this day and it's extra special to me. Kind of shows how many people you meet over your journey in the military. There you go. So maybe that's why it was adopted by the whiskey community because it is, I mean, in no way comparable, but also a form of a journey. Mm -hmm. um, and like when we go places and people pull out their coins, they're always a bunch of different coins. Yeah. Like I think that that's cool. Yes. It just kind of shows. We have like, our we have our collection now. We do have a collection of coins from we, one of those. We, uh, you know, Jose gave us his personal tribe toast <gasps> coin that has the toast. And on it, it's this big metal coin that fits mm -hmm. perfectly on a glass. It has carry. that groove, and mm -hmm. someone said we should get that. And maybe we'll work on that for a certain special group of, I don't know, patrons? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I have no idea where they got that coin from. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, you know, maybe Indiana because of MGP, for sure. Um, Travis wants Iowa coins. Iowa, yes. Chad, will <laughs> we be having Rock Hill Farms for Thanksgiving? Is Am I missing the connection? Scott, will we be having Rock Hill Farms for Thanksgiving, or I don't understand the question. I love Rock Rock Hill Farms. Uh, See you, Chris. Have a good night. Have a good shift, I should say, because hmm. he's in Australia. Louisiana. Okay, people are voting here. I think we're gonna have to put out like an official poll because I don't think this is gonna be the living. Yeah, for sure. We'll put one out on YouTube. We'll put one out on Patreon. Uh, for for that. Yeah, we don't know where we want to go for batch three. It'll be a minute because. You know, we've sold through about a fourth of the Texas coins. We have only a fourth left, the Kentucky ones. We don't want to have too many on top of each other, kind of camelize themselves. Well, and it also is extra confusing <laughs> to fill orders. Right, right, right. Inventory yeah. gets mishmashed. Uh, Orlando asks, how much is each coin? Ten bucks. Ten bucks a coin. That's pretty standard across the whiskey tube community. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like we should wrap it up. Because we've gone 20 minutes into overtime. Sure. And, you know. Kind of making up for not being here last week. That's true. <laughs> and we've done how many uncorkings tonight? I, a lot. 
Yeah. My favorite thing is when people see the video and they're like, an hour and 20 minutes. They just comment without even having watched it. An hour and 20 minutes, no thanks. I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. You know, you weren't there, but you weren't there. <laughs> Anyways. There you go. Um, yeah. Oh, Mark Brown said, just ordered a coin. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. Patrons uh, get to request their number. Unfortunately, we cannot do number requests for everyone else. We can't just because logistically logistics of it all. It's bad. Uh, yeah. It's just it's one of the many perks of being a, a patron. Um, we go by you know tier level and also historical. Like you know the someone said earlier, I got I ordered this number for Kentucky. I got the same number for ten for Tennessee. For Texas. For Texas. They both start with the T. But Tennessee will have to be one. It will, for sure. Um, and that's what we try to do. You know, we try to... We try to keep good on that. We try to do our bookkeeping. So. That's true. That's a thing. I feel like this whole show has been a shout out for Patreon. <laughs> I do. But that's okay. Oh, speaking of, one more thing. One uh, more thing. Ah, yes. I have one more thing. Don't don't leave. Don't leave yet. Um, I promise this might be interesting to you. Okay, so there's this thing called the Spirits Network, and we're on it. Um, it's an app. It's a website, spiritsnetwork.com. And uh, we've been partnered with them for about a year. Uh, they've got a lot of our content, which airs on their platform. So the gist of the Spirits Network platform is that it is a lot of exclusive and some non-exclusive. Like our shows are abbreviated on there, but then we also do our YouTube show. Possibly in the future. They do a lot of original content. Um, which is great. I'm actually in an original content episode with Peggy No Steven called uh, The Women's Whiskey Revolution. It's awesome. You should watch it, if only to see my beautiful face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, anyways, the great thing about the Spirits Network is that while you're watching any one of these shows and they're talking about a bottle, it like pops up in the corner. It's like, do you want to buy this bottle now? And you're like, click, yes, I do want to buy this bottle now. This has never happened before. There has never been a thing like this, to my knowledge, it's basically like QVC for alcohol. And that's a terrible way to describe it. It's more like the Food Network of spirits for shows. Spirits, yeah. Um, so because we're partners with them, we have a promo code. It's B-N-V-I-P, B as in bourbon, N as in night, V-I-P as in, you know, V-I-P. Uh, so you use code B-N-V-I-P at checkout now through the end of the month, November 30th. Uh, and you will get their monthly Explorer base membership for $1 for 30 days. So for $1 for 30 days, you can like support us, obviously. You're supporting us anyways by just watching. Um, but you can check out our content. You can check out that original episode. Check out all their other originals. See if you like it. Buy some bottles maybe because they have, it's literally just right there. You just click. Um, so yeah, go check it out. See if you want to buy a bottle. See if you want to become a long-term member. I don't yeah. know what you want to do. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I'm a member, <laughs> so I don't know if that says anything, but I like it. Um, but, yeah, B-N-V-I-P. Yeah, and I think Spirits you guys, Network. you know, using the coupon code uh, helps us out because they'll know that our audience is is watching and is, is eager, and that could lead to some original content being produced for that network with us. And that would be cool. That would be really, we would, we would really like, cool. We would like that. Like, uh, they've like got some yeah. awesome people that do they do shows with. Yeah. Um, they do a lot with... Well, who's that comedian? Um, oh, the man show guy. Um, do, oh, they, uh, leave him a brain. No. Oh, no. Has left my brain. He's a Carson? podcaster. Nope. Nope. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember. The guy who was on the man show. This is terrible. How who, do I not remember his who name? Who didn't go on to be? Oh no. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel. The other one. <laughs> the other one. He's gonna see this and be like, I hate Adam these two. Adam Carolla. Carolla is his name. Yes, Adam, Adam Carolla. Carolla. Yeah. He's on their network. He does a lot of stuff. He's doing with a show them. where he barters his way across the Bourbon Trail. Isn't that neat? Yeah, that's really cool. He um, was at Bourbon and Beyond uh, Sunday when we were there. It's true, he was. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we so saw him for a second. If you use the code, you can get it for one dollar. You get a one dollar trial for the month, the and month. see if you like it. And yeah. if you don't want to do that, you know that's fine. Um, you just don't want to see me and Peggy No Stevens chilling in a women's whiskey revolution episode. That's fine. <laughs> um, the only original content I've done outside of this show. Whatever. There you go. It's okay. All right, cool. 
Sweet. Well, that'll do it for us. Uh, <laughs> That's enough yeah. for us. Cool. Uh, if this is your first time checking us out and you haven't subscribed already, we should probably have a button right up here that you can click to subscribe. Some other episode suggestions here. we we'll see you over there in those. Thanks so much, guys. It was great hanging out with you. We, we missed you all. Um, we did. We it's did. true. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time, drink more bourbon. But I'm out. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm.